Hello there and welcome to today's ride. Today we are back in Italy. I'm here with Inspired Italy and we have six days of fantastic cycling ahead of us. That's us out on the road. Absolutely stunning day today here in Lisciano Niconi. Uh, the ride is planned for about 72 kilometers, but it's going to be relatively flat. According to Tim, who's our guide today, we'll be doing about 320 meters of climbing, so relatively easy. We're also in quite a large group. There's about nine of us, uh, and it's, it's always going to be much easier when you're riding in a group. Ten of us all together in today's group, and uh, that's the biggest group I've ridden in for quite a while now. So it's going to be some uh, fantastic riding today. I've been reliably informed that there are only two things that could be considered a climb today, and they're not very difficult. A couple of hundred meters, two, three percent. And I think I'm just approaching the first of those. Is this the first of the climbs, Tim? It is, yeah, but I mean, it's literally 200 meters. Uh, okay. Tim says this is the first of the climb. Just a warmer up or a pretty warm as it is. And that was it. Not too bad at all. When you do ride with others, it's so much easier, but uh, that means you do have to keep up and try and sit on the wheel of the person in front. If you can do it properly, you can save up to about 30% of your energy. Seeing as this is Italy, of course, we're cycling through the vineyards. Uh, last time I was here, it was um, early September and there were actually grapes on the vines, but now in kind of mid-May, I think they're still growing. Seventeen kilometers in, and yeah, it's just a little quick regroup. Back on the road after that quick little regroup, and we've just done a little climb, two, three percent, a couple of hundred meters, and that could possibly be the last climb of the outward leg of today's ride. So there are 10 of us riding today, and it's a bit of a mixed ability group. Uh, four people are riding e-bikes, so that obviously means six of us are riding regular bikes. I'm actually riding my Cannondale that I flew out from the UK, and if you didn't already know, that's just a regular muscle bike. So I'm completely on Leonardo power. filming <laughs> so how was that great yeah really enjoyed it and the weather superb so that's a very quick little refreshment stop there i think we're only about 10 kilometers 
from where we're actually cycling to today, which is called Citta di Castello, which um, Tim is a very nice little village, isn't it? Yeah, a little town in the Tiber Valley. So this is the Tiber, the river that flows through down to Rome. Uh, source of it's at the top of this valley, so yeah, oh, yeah. just uh, actually 13 kilos, pretty much flat. Nice pasta lunch in the piazza. Sounds good to me. Where the girls are waiting. We've had a crack up. Actually, I've just seen a sign for Città di Castello and it's 12 kilometers. That's us entered Citta di Costello and I think now we're going to head for the centre of town because that's where we're going to have a meal. Looks like there's a market on so we've had to dismount. meal stop there in Citti di Castello. I had some uh, homemade pasta with vegetables and some bacon, very very nice. And now we're starting our route back to the hotel which is more or less um, back the way we came, so another 37 kilometers. smell in the air. Um, it's obviously coming from some plant, it's very very fragrant, almost smells a bit soapy, a bit perfumey. Yeah, it's very very atmospheric. So there we go, that's today's ride done and dusted. 72.9 kilometers in the bank of fitness and a great ride all round. Wonder what tomorrow holds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.